go decimals. Sure, so sometimes I get a little bored around the house. Uh-huh. So today's video is about adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing decimals. Okay, why don't we get to that first one? Addition. Oh boy. The most important part about adding and subtracting decimals is lining up the decimal places. Okay, so um, I'll arbitrarily put the uh, bigger one on top. Okay, 3.4. Uh huh. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna add to it uh, 2.78. Great. So then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add them the way I normally do. Add them. Yeah, um, but in order to add them, right, it's uh, usually the convention that we uh, put in these placeholders. Now I can add a zero to the end of a decimal in the decimal side without changing the value. Kind of like back in the 80s when they had the Mustang 5.0. That was not really, that was not any different than the Mustang 5. Okay, great. Eight. So I'm going to take that zero and that eight and it's going to get me eight. Great. And then that four and that seven gonna give me 11 and I'm gonna carry that one. Okay, keep on keeping on. Three and one is four and two is six. Now what do I do with that decimal? I bring it straight on down. Oh, so then, and a flower, 6.18. Okay, but what if I need to subtract them? Oh boy, the most important part about adding and subtracting decimals is lining up that decimal place and here we go. I'm going to put the big one on top here. I got to do that just in case I got to borrow. Okay, so then I'm going to take that 3.4. Okay, and I'm going to subtract off that 2.78. Great. So here again, we are going to fill in that place. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I put the big one on top. Can I take eight from zero? No, right? So zero got to borrow. Zero's like, hey four, can I have a hundredth? And four is like, no zero, you're nothing. You're nothing zero, right? Um, zero gets all sad, but um, still wants to borrow. So he asks four again. Hey man, can I please, can I please have a hundredth? And he's like, um, no man, in this economy, it's a recession. Oh, so then finally four gives it up and then um, four becomes um, a three. Tee hee, and then this is 10. Very nice. So now eight can go ahead and um, take from 10. So then can I take eight from 10? I do when I get two. Oh, so then seven, right? Oh, scary, scary number. Seven, right? He gonna try to take, can you take seven from three? No way, man. Um, so three. <clears throat> says, hey, three, can I please have a tenth? And then um, three's like, yeah, man, we totally like the same number. So then he is not a three anymore, and now he's a two. Oh, okay, so that made him a 13. Oh, boy, can I take seven from 13? <laughs> and then it appears to me that that is going to be, wait for it, wait for it, six. Sick, bring that decimal straight on down because the most important part about adding and subtracting decimals is lining up the decimal place. Okay, can I take two from two? Yeah, but that's everything and I'm left with nothing. Is that going to be positive or negative? Well, which number was bigger? The 3.4 or the 2.78? 3.4 is further to the right on the number line, so my resulting number is positive. And you know, fox and flower. But what if I wanted to multiply these decimals? Heavens to Mercatroids. Why would you ever do that? Hmm. Well, decimal multiplication can be, um, swell. Do I have to line up the decimal places? No, I don't. Right? Do I have to put the bigger one on top? No, I don't. With multiply, we're going to multiply, then move it, move it. We're going to multiply, then move it, move it. We're going to multiply the numbers, mm-hmm, and then move the number of decimal places in my original product. Ready, 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 ready. Um, ready. Here I'm going to put the, oh no, how do you erase when, yeah. ah. okay, well, I guess I'm going to do it this way then. I'm going to put the 3.4 on top. Why? Because I messed up, okay? I messed up. I wanted to put the longer one on top so that I would have left multiplication, but hey, it doesn't matter. And to prove it to you, um, I'll do it this way. 
And then with multiplication, I do not have to line up the decimal places. Mm -mm. Okay, so then, uh-huh, sure. So then, eight times four, it's a little rough this day. It's a two carry a three, why? Because eight times four gets me 32. Uh -huh. Then that's 24. The eight times the three is 24, plus that three gets me 27. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. So then I move on. I need a, a placeholder. Uh huh. So the seven times the four gives me 28. Great. So now that's a two. The seven times the three is a 21, plus two is 23. Oh, wait, now I'm moving on to that too. Yeah, because I'm multiplying as usual. And then I'm gonna move the decimal later. Sure, so then that, I need not one, but two placeholders. And then two times four gets me eight. Great, I'm not carrying anything this time. Yeah, and two times three gets me uh, six. Very nice. Now we're to the part where we add them. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add them on down. Yeah, this is two. Oh, and then seven and eight, 15. Yes, then I'm gonna carry that one. Okay, so then that's six and eight gives me 14. Carry that one. And then two and six is eight plus one is nine. Fine. So how many, how many, how many, how many places were in my original product? There were one, two, three decimal places in my original product. So there's going to be one, two, three decimal places in my answer. So then when we take 3.4 times 2.78, I get 9.452. Now let's eyeball this. Let's see if it's close. Right. This one's about three and a half. That one's about three. So so it should be a little over nine. Okay, box and flower. I'm not sure how this is gonna come out on camera, but it's working for me now. Okay, and now I'm over here. Now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna do that division, man. How am I gonna go and I'm gonna do that division, man? I gotta go old school. Who's in the house? This one divided by that one. So then 3.4 is in the house. Who's out the house? Out the house, I got, I got, I got, I got 2.78. Great. Now, division goes a little bit um, backwards of multiplication. Yeah, what do I mean? Multiplication, we multiplied, then moved it, moved it. Here, our old school division handles um, whole numbers well. So what I want to do is I want to move and then divide. Yeah. So then I moved this one, two. Right. So now I have 278. Great. But since I moved that one too, I need to also move this one too. Mm-hmm. Ready, 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 ready. One, two. Oh no, what do I do? I fill it in. Very nice. I put that zero there. Okay, so then 278 goes into 340 one time. So then I take this one times that one, put it there. Okay. Yeah, and this is two, seven, eight. Great. And now to the part where I change the sign, because I'm re subtracting now. This division is repeated subtraction. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, oh, got to borrow again. Oh, do I have this? I do. Yes, 62. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Now I add that zero. Sure. And I bring it on down. Yeah. So then there's your zero. That's 620. Oh, boy. Looks like that's two times. Uh-huh. Ooh, my decimal came straight up. <sighs> Getting a little bored. Um, uh, six, okay. Carry the one, okay. That's 14, 15, okay. Sure, carry that one, okay. Two times two is uh, four, sure, plus one is five. Very nice. Subtract. Oh, got enough. Uh, zero borrows from two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, he's a one. He's a 10. Uh-huh, sure. Um, that's four. Sure. Um, wait for it. Wait for it. Five. That's um, an 11. And then this is a six. Oh, boy. So then I add a zero and I go again. Uh-huh. Looks like it's going to be another two-ish. And it's going to keep going. I don't know how far. I don't even care anymore. What's my answer here? Um, 
It's about. Right. Maybe you want to grab your calculator and ask it. Um, you would never do that. Um, 1.22 ish. And you know. 